Hey, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. You. That guy in the chair right there. Are you tired of getting b-hopped on every day? Do you feel that b-hopping is the stupidest thing ever to be added? Since, since Reaper's Poison. Well, guess what? Today, Papa Sam is going to help you out with how to counter b-hopping with every clasher. This does include Zadina and <gasps> Sheila, the easiest one to b-hop on. Yeah, but, um, yeah. So, I guess I'll start off with Sheila. So, with Sheila, she's actually, um, you'd think Sheila would have a super hard time countering a b-hopping knight, considering that she can run way faster than her. Like, wow, Papa Sam, this was, like, you can't counter a b-hopping knight as Sheila had. You might as well try to... You might as well try to counter a freaking... You might as well go up one-on-one -on -one with a full, legitimate, tanked, ubered cyborg. Yeah. Well, there's actually a really easy way to do this. Um, there's two easy ways, actually. One, you can go in a really, really cornered place. Like, for example, um, on pay on payload, um, castle payload specifically, go in any of the hallways and just start juking them out. Like, I promise you, what eight out of t eight out of ten times they'll be too inex they will just hop around in a circle trying to get to you. But the way B hopping works, you go from side to side. So going in a tight and cornered space like this, you can easily lose orientation unless you're that good. Which I'll be honest, even I lose get a little bit orientated like easily. If I was chasing a Sheila up this hill, she could easily just like pull a quick, you know, pull a quick backflip over here and just run around, and I'd have to go out and I'd probably risk myself getting killed by. You know people in the spawn so you know just use the advantages of your roles that you can use very often compared to his leaps because you can easily avoid his leap if he's leaping at you that fast i mean it's not that hard to avoid and i'm not just saying that because i've been playing this game for like 1000 hours at least i'm just saying that in general it's not that hard next up with ghost um very simple just stay near teammates you know stay near range clashers or just close range clashers too just have a teammate near you you know stick to your guns and if they're really that badly you can if they are really that bad try to lead them to the, um the point try to get them at the point and then you know just try to get them at the point and then freaking you know you know <laughs> just just ult. it's it's basically what it's basically what it's come to today when you whenever you have a ghost just ult just ult to stop anything Ghost ult is probably the most OP thing in the game. Just use it. And, like, you can charge it super easily. Like, super easily. So just use it. It's, it's that simple. Um, next, <laughs> next up, um, next up would be Decker. So, with Decker, unless you are Tim, you'll basically, at this point, just have to stick with teammates. Just stay invisible, to be honest, because it's... You'd be surprised how hard it is to track someone once they're invisible. It's pretty much as hard as it is a TF2 or any game where someone can go invisible and you're trying to track them. Unless they get a good meat shot on you, like a good electro ball, they're not going to be tracking you for very long. So just go invisible. Like, just go invisible. Like, it's that simple. Or you can just ult them and take advantage of that. Try to ult them your teammates. Just, you know, just stick near to a place where you can take advantage of the area. Try to ult them at, like, the point. Let your teammates finish them off. Try to ult him near your spawn, wherever. Just try to ult him in general. Your Decker. You can literally demobilize somebody for like five freaking seconds. So just use that to your advantage. Um, next up would be um, Cyborg in this case. Cyborg, you're a, you're another tank. It's a tank that's going super fast versus a tank that's going super slow. You may think that's a bad matchup in general, but considering the tank that's going super fast has to continuously press keys while well, you can just hold down two keys. W and left click. Literally, just hold down W and left click and move forward. Put up shield too. You'd be surprised how good that works with stopping the B hopping damage. Like if they get a good meat shot on you, but you have the shield up, it actually reduces a lot. So yeah. And one more thing: do never ult if there was a B hopping knight in the server. Just just don't do it. it it's just not a smart choice. It's like trying to ult in the freaking heat of a battle as a cyborg. Like you're immobilized. Not only are you the slowest guy now in the game because you're immobilized, he has complete and utter advantage to take control of you. So if you're ever going to ult while these guys are on a server, find a safe place to do it. Like, maybe even in spawn if you have good enough aim. But, um, yeah. 
Next up is, well, in this case, I'll just go, next up I'll just put Rascal in there. Um, he's, he's a difficult, it's difficult with Rascal. You gotta stay near turret, but since he can also shred your turret in a cup in a mere, what, three seconds, you also wanna, you wanna take advantage of the fact that your turret is gonna damage him. Either you want the turret to shoot him in the back or run away with the turret shooting at him, or you wanna take advantage of the fact that he's shooting your turret and try to shoot him in the back. So just, just either let your turret shoot him or you shoot him. Yeah, just, just use your turret to distract him. Most, of, most of the time I would go for a turret just because they're you get more XP and they're just more fun to kill. But you know, just go, just, just do either one. And if you're really that bad at the game, just, just shotgun him. The the knockback on the shotgun is so freaking OP. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. It is absolutely retarded. I cannot tell you how many times I've been knocked out of this world. Because Tim, Cat, or Doreen has shotgunned me. Kurosaka is actually ridiculous. He's shotgunned me so many times. Like, I've got... I have literally committed suicide in this game by falling off the map because of how hard that shotgun hits. Just absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah. Just use shotgun. Um, With Knight, it, you're another tank. Just... If you're not good at tracking because you have no game sense at all, well, guess what? You can just ult, and he cannot do anything. If he also has an ult, well, I guess you're getting punished for not having game sense. So get some. Next up is Reaper. You are basically out of luck unless you know how to teleport well. Um, with Reaper, just just teleport out of his reach. Like, let's be honest, Reaper is probably the best counter. She can just teleport wherever the heck she wants to, and sometimes she can just teleport out of his reach. There are just so many barriers that, and since you're going so fast, the chances are you're not going to be able to steer very well. I mean, I, ha I have a super hard time steering. You're not going to steer, he's not going to be able to steer in time if he ever wants to get you. So just know that. Also, one last thing. Poison him. Poison, poison, poison him. I promise you that will be the most annoying thing you can do to him. The most annoying thing, I promise you, I promise you. And, um... Last but not least, actually least, um, is Zadina. Now a lot of you are thinking, Papa Sam, there's no counter. She's she's just that bad. Well, I have a good friend named Dia Stone Mass, and he can he can vouch that she that Zadina is the most annoying thing to chase. If they know what they're doing, if uh, Zadina knows what she's doing, she is so annoying to chase as a beat hopping knight because she can almost she can jump two times more than you can in the same amount of time she can up two times and not only that she can actually aim the jump very very well like just in general watch to, i'm gonna try to do a 360 back to this grenade or where the grenade was i have to turn so hard to even get close to where the grenade was and at the end that was like about um like six meters away from where that grenade was so it is very hard to make quick turns and like twist which you know you can do that perfectly so you are literally he's literally at basically the only limit is how bad you are at leaping with Sedina. So yeah, that's all the classes, guys. Um, that's pretty much it. But um, I guess maybe, maybe I'll include a video on how to predict a B hopping night. Maybe depends. Um, if this video gets at least what 15 likes, shoot, I'll do it. But um, that's it for today, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and until then, guys, keep clashing.